2004 Infinity G35 Coupe Manual. But before everything, I know why you guys clicked on this video, and this is actually how you do it. Now listen up, you gotta do step by step where it's not gonna work. First, you gotta grab your key for the G35 or G37, I think. Then you gotta get like a really nice sandpaper. You gotta make sure that the key is well sanded. Make sure all the buttons are smooth and even, and then this is how you're gonna do it. You gotta press the unlock twice, or I mean three times, and then the trunk twice, and then press both at the same time, okay? So we go one, two, three, one, two, and then we press both. <laughs> Let's go, that I can't. I did this once before, and it was really funny, so I gotta show you guys again. Welcome to Danny's channel. Okay, I don't want to be that guy, so let's make a deal. If this video gets a thousand likes, we're gonna remote start the G35 that's back there. Doesn't matter if no one knows how to do it, I will somehow figure out how to remote start the car. So a thousand likes, and we'll have what will be maybe one of the first remote start Infinity G35s. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Should I have made that deal, but let's get it. It is so freaking hot! Oh my gosh! I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 92 degrees. 92 degrees? What? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the, who is this? Yo, who is that? Yo, who is that? Oh, girl. Okay, hold on. Before we start today's video, as many of you may or may not know, I'm actually, actually, English isn't even my first language. Spanish is my first language. I was born and raised in Cuba, came to this country, the US, when I was nine years old. And let's put it this way. Your boy knew nothing about English. It was hard learning English. And the worst thing is, kids in elementary school and middle school are just not the greatest. And knowing the struggle it is to learn a new language, I've decided to partner up with Buzu, an app that it can be used on the phone and in your laptop that helps you learn lots of new languages and makes it super, super simple. And maybe you want to learn a new language right now. That's why this app really helps a lot. I'm actually trying to learn Japanese currently. So how Buzu works, they basically have this really cool feature where it lets you set out a study plan where basically you can put how many days a week you want to study, how many minutes a day you want to study. And it basically sends you a reminder whenever you have to study kind of keeps you on track because if you're like i'm gonna learn how to speak english or let's say japanese you're like okay tomorrow i'm gonna do it tomorrow's gonna come you're not gonna do it this helps you like stay organized there's courses on the app where it's like lesson one lesson two lesson three it starts you off with the basics and it goes to full phrases and things like that so you actually have like a guideline of what to study when to study how to study and the really cool thing about the app is like it's like a community everybody's trying to learn different languages and if you click on the little discover tab you can see people from around the country kind of typing what they've learned or saying it. The app helps you write, speak the language, understand the language, um, basically everything about the language. It is great. It's like an all-in-one, so it's great. Download the app, top link in the description, support the channel, and just learn a new language. Thank you so much to Buzu for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to the video. Man. Oh, this is the first feature, which is the bumper just comes off by itself. Yes, sir. <laughs> First things first, this is an Infiniti slash Nissan. There isn't that many hidden cool things about it. It was very hard to find, but I found a couple that you guys are gonna enjoy. At least I enjoyed it, and one of them I had no idea about, so. But okay, you're in Florida, you're in somewhere else that's really hot, Cali, whatever. You just got done with like a 14 hour, not 14 hour, 14 mile bike trip. You're tired, you're sweaty, it is 100 degrees outside. You know very well that the car's about to be like 200 degrees inside. What you can do is, you double click the unlock button. Oh, the windows go down. Yes. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, man. A lot of these things I did not do. And one of those I saw online and I was like, crap, mine's in 04. I wonder if like back in 04, they had that feature. I was scared it did it, but it does. That's so sick. Oh, man. This is going to save my life a lot. I'm literally going to start using this every day. All right, let's talk about another scenario. You're walking out of your car with your girlfriend. Oh, we left the windows down. You don't want to go inside the car, put the key into the ignition, put the windows up. This is what you can do instead. Walk up to the car, grab a key. In this case, I have two keys, doesn't matter. You boom, <clears throat> right there. Then you go one, two. Uh, all right, one, two. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm freaking out right now, this is so cool. Oh wait, it went back down. Oh, cause this window's broken. But they should stay up like that, right? Yeah. And then what's really cool is, if you don't wanna click two buttons, you could literally as well 
roll your windows down by going the opposite way. So you go to the right, one, two. Windows go down, yes sir. Look at this turn, look at these turns. Yikes. Sheesh, could have drifted that, chose not to. Didn't want to show off how good this G is. Just saying. I said, who that? Oh wait, where's my gas thing? Yo, with how YouTube's been doing lately, bro? I got myself some free socks. <laughs> Man. It's a DE. Just kidding. Oh, I literally just came back from a 14 mile bike trip off-roading. I am actually just, I am depleted. The hose is my body and my energy is just leaving my body right now. $12 in Oh, is that a G? So probably the most fun hidden feature, but then again, it's not a hidden feature. It is kind of like a DIY car guy type of feature. Probably one of the main reasons why you bought a G35 or 350Z or 370Z or G37. It's because they're indeed rear wheel drive or front wheel drive. Well, with that comes the are to the burnouts. Even if you take off your VDC, oh, I'm missing this button here. <laughs> uh, that's funny, okay, that's really funny. Even if you take off your VDC completely off, the car's not gonna allow you to do a donut. I'm pretty sure. If it lets you, then congrats. But it shouldn't. So you gotta come down here, all the way down here, next to the clutch pedal, and you see a little box. You're gonna take out a fuse called stop lamp fuse. The stop lamp fuse is going to completely take off ABS, I believe. If not, I'm gonna correct myself right now. You cannot just go around like this because it does take off your brake lights. You do not wanna be driving around without brake lights. Unless you wanna get dinged in the back, that won't be fun. But yeah, have fun doing burnouts and tag me on Instagram or wherever of you doing burnouts with this little trick. I've said it before for my 370Z, but I figured a lot of you didn't think it worked for the G35, and it does work. So this third button here, when you press it down, it actually unlocks your trunk. Now I'm gonna give it to Infinity. They were pretty smart. So look what they did in case someone ever breaks into your car. It's happened to me before it is the most I felt so violated and so it's horrible and if that's ever happened to you You, you know what I mean in case they want to go into your trunk There's actually a secret component here and there's a little button right up in here where you click it It actually locks the trunk so even if you try to unlock it from in here it won't unlock and then obviously you click that little button again and it unlocks the trunk that is genius that is super cool this is something that i noticed my buddy nick showed it to me since he's like a g fanatic so if you look up in here a regular car would have something for your hand you know like you're chilling this car has a car holder bro same as up here do I have one? I do not because I'm poor. That really shows you that Infinity back then and still to today, it's leaning more towards like the formal suit, um, sophisticated business guy. Oh, I wonder if it works. Let's put it to the test actually. I mean, it works, but that's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, how you doing, officer? My bad for speeding. Yeah, I thought I thought we were going to run it. I thought you were going to, you know, one, two, three, go. But, oh, uh, my bad. I didn't mean to. Oh, yo, my license. Yeah, I got you. You know, nothing new, just a G, G thing, yeah. Okay, this isn't a hidden feature, but let's say one day something happens, and I, I just want you guys to know this. So, let's say something happens, you need to open up the trunk, but you lost the keys or whatever. There's, if you go all the way back here, after you put the seats down, if you look up there, ignore my share. Thing right there is a little thing you can pull, and it opens up the trunk. You'll see it, it has a handle to it. I'm just gonna fall asleep here. My energy is just gone. It's pretty cool. A lot of cars have that actually. Yo, there's room back here. What? Yeah, a cup holder here, bam. You can you can put your coolant here, drink out of it. Yo, this thing is awesome, bro. Look at this. Wow, there's actually a lot of room back here. More than I ever thought. If you go like this, the seat moves forward, and then if you go back, like you pull it back, the seat goes back into place. That is amazing. And then obviously, if you own a G, you know this, but the third button down here unlocks the trunk. And you guys might be like, dude, obviously I knew that. My 370 does not have this, so I always wonder what that button was, and then one day I clicked it and voila. Illustration of two stowed golf bags. Dude, they think I'm a businessman and a golfer, bro. I'm wearing a fishing shirt, some old shoes, and some shorts. I miss the dude being a guy. I do know that the newer G models do have a button here for the trunk. And then a little keyhole right here. And then this one you may or may not know, but let's say you go to the gas station like I used it to put gas in the car. Instead of just kind of leaving it out here, throwing it over there, putting it in your pocket, you can literally go like this, bam. And that's where it goes, right there, bam. With that being said, I want to go ahead and end up today's video. I do want to touch on something, so I have not, or you guys have not seen me post a new video in about five days. That is insanely crazy for me to do, even do that. I usually upload every other day or maybe like two days in between, I never take five days off. You know, I really pushed myself, I've been grinding for a while now, and I just wanted to step back, 
kind of analyze everything that's going on, where I want to take my content, what I want to do for the future of this channel, and my what I want to be my YouTube career. And let me just say that we're gonna kill the game. I am so excited to be back. I'm acting like I haven't been uploaded in a month. That's never gonna happen. Man, five days? Sheesh. The grind never stopped. I actually filmed like three videos. For next week, we're gonna have a bunch of videos. And ooh, the video after this one is gonna be so awesome. Dude, I'm so excited. So excited for you guys to watch the next upcoming videos. With that being said though, thank you so much to Boozo for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to start learning Japanese. I, ooh, I can't wait. And as always, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for supporting the channel. Road to 100K. I've honestly built the best family ever here on YouTube. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I, I'm not just saying that. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I am so passionate about making videos and just content for you guys. You have no idea. And I was so happy to just be able to do this uh, for every single one of you. Make sure you guys stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys next time. Hasta luego. Subscribe and hit that notification bell because the next video, you're gonna like it. It's just reminding me, last video someone said I drive a clapped out G35. How dare you, bro? This is the almighty Julie, bro.